Alrighty guys, what is going on? Back with another video here. So, Survivor Series. Yeah, this is my Survivor Series review and results. Oh, god dang it. It's like a vampire sucked the every inch of every drop of blood out of me. God damn. I'm talking about the Uh, it's not a good show, god damn. NXT was far better. Who would have thought that NXT was far better than this? But it's not a bad show, but it's not good either. So let's break it down. And on to the pre-show. Yeah, we got a pre-show for two fucking hours. Like WrestleMania. Two hours of pre-show. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't watch it, guys. I didn't watch any of the kickoff matches because I was so sleepy. It's like 5 in the morning in my time. So, I didn't watch it. So, let's break it down. The first match was I, Enzo Amore was Kalisto again for the Cruiserweight Championship. Where's Neville, man? I need Neville. Neville needs to... That division needs Neville. God damn, what, what are you going to do then? The next match, hey, Enzo won, lol, who cares? And the next match was, um, yeah, Elias versus Matt Hardy, yeah. Matt Hardy, who cares, didn't watch it, but Elias Samson win, the guy with the guitar, thinks he's Jeff Jarrett, but far better than Jeff Jarrett. And then, and the last pre-show match was, this is that, Really pissed me off so bad. This match. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Brizongo. What the fuck? What the fuck is Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn doing on the pre show of Survival Series? They should be on that match. On the card. What the fuck? I don't know what they did on backstage. I think they're getting they're getting punished for no reason. Those two guys were a really company man and why the fuck they didn't they didn't get even a match on the card so stupid so stupid <laughs> yo the show really kicked off the pay-per-view uh this has got me onto it and that is the first match the opener was an awesome opener between the shield uh roman reigns the real shield Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose versus The New Day. Uh, Big E, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods. Those six guys tear the house down. One, best matches, one of the best matches on the, on the card. And not saying much because there's not a lot of good matches in this card, let me be honest with you. Uh, good match, 21 minute opener, good opener. And the Shield won with a top rope, second rope, super triple power bomb. A good ending and a good match. And yeah, the Shield going over. And they really building off Roman to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34. They're really gonna build on it. And that is Vince McMahon's wet dreams every night. It's like, oh man, Roman, Brock. Oh God! Yeah, that's that's the he jerks off. He he's wet dreams. And to the next match, uh, it's for the women's traditional Survivor Series five on five match uh, from Raw and SmackDown. From Raw, we got Asuka, Nia Jax, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and the Lilisha folks. And Team SmackDown got Natalia. Yeah, the last. Uh, it wasn't Paige, I was hoping Paige, but the last member of t Team SmackDown was Natalia. Those, 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 those ones shift back. I think Charlotte was the fifth member because she won the title from Natalia. So Natalia went to the tag team match. So Natalia, Tamina, um, uh, Becky Lynch, Carmella, and Naomi. So five on five. Uh, I wasn't didn't care about this match I was only care about Asuka Asuka being dominant and I was right Asuka is the sole survivor of this team Asuka winning 
the match. He, she is the only sole survivor for Team Raw. So, so Raw gets two points. SmackDown is zero. So yeah. So Asuka. So Asuka wins. So on to the next match. It is the Intercontinental Champion from Raw, Miz, and from SmackDown, the United States Champion Baron Corbin. Hey man, you're not me. Hashtag Steven Larson. And this was a, not a great match either. This is not a great match. Not a great because both men are heels. But I still support the Miz. But this is the least match I was expecting. Like NXT TakeOver, the Cash Cash Ono Lars Sullivan match. I didn't care a much. But that's not a bad match though. But this is not a bad this is not a good match and didn't even care about it so yeah the but the winner was Bar Baron Corbin it's like they booked him as a face that's that's weird they have Maurice and the Mr. Raj Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel and he overcome the odds like he's John Cena or something um, but it's a weird match, weird dynamic because both guys are heels, so who cares? But Baron Corbin won, so that's SmackDown got one point, so two to one. On to the next match, uh, it's a t t non title match. The Raw Tag Team Champion Sheamus and Zara to, to, to do the bar versus the Uso SmackDown Tag Team Champions. So this technically this is a rematch from last year's Survivor Series because if you guys remember 2016 Sheamus and Cesaro uh, was the last team members on the tag team version of this 5 on 5 and the Usos was the last guys too so so in that match Sheamus and Cesaro made the Usos tap out to win that match so this is like the rematch for this year but this time they but this time is different because the Usos won this match. But forgot to tell you, this was a great match. I think th this is this is like the same level as the Shield was Shield and New Day match. Yeah, this these are the two match was so awesome. I loved it. I loved this match too. Man, those tag teams are so freaking good. The New Day Shield and the Bar and the Usos. These four teams are super super athletic talented guys good tag team matches they changed the tag team of this wrestling century i loved it i really really loved this match great match the crowd was so hot they even uh recalled that last year's uh last year moment too and sheamus i mean not sheamus so Zara doing the sharpshooter again and doing the bro kick on the other uso by uh, Sheamus, but this time the one of the Usos didn't tap out. This time they got pulled. They oh man, what? Oh yeah, on this part, I think like one of the Usos tagged, tagged and did a dive at the same time on the other guy. I think yeah. So I think I think the one of the Usos pinned. His, Sheamus, I think. Yeah, I don't remember, but the matches was so good. I loved that match. So, yes, yeah, SmackDown is two to two now. Two to and for the next match is another non-title match, the ch women's championship. Uh, I mean, the Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss going up against uh, SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair. God dang, I love her. Love her so much. I want to marry her. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. But this was a decent match, not a good match, not a great match. Uh, this was a solid, decent match. Uh, but I'm not in the board on the Alexa B Bliss train. Yeah, she needs some work to do. I don't know why she won the title like three times, both of them combined. So. Yeah, I don't. It's a hit or miss for me for Alexa Bliss. Sh so yeah, Charlotte. So Charlotte won the match. Said before, I'm not bought into Alexa Bliss, but she's hot though. Both women are hot. Alexa Bliss is thick as hell. God dang it. Oh, uh, sorry, man. I'm a virgin. 
if you watch WWE, you're a virgin stereotype. Yeah, there's sometimes I'm still a virgin, even though I'm 20 years old. So, on to the next match. Another non-title match. There's not many titles defended this show. Yeah, that's weird. The only title that defended is the Cruiserweight Championship, and that was on the pre-show. And I, I didn't even watch that match. So it's, it's okay, I don't, I don't watch 205 Live that often. So, I may call this a dream match. But I didn't even got bored on it. I got... I didn't even know this was a dream match. So, and fun fact, both men are same age. Both men are in their 40s right now. Yeah. The Brock Lesnar was 25 when he won the uh, when he won the WWE championship AJ Styles, AJ Styles was 25 in 2002 but he went to TNA yeah both men are the same age that's crazy man I thought AJ was younger okay so yeah so who cares about that but let's get into the match but it's a typical Brock Lesnar match but AJ you know AJ, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. He he never had a bad match. He was doing his best to make this match a good, decent as possible, phenomenal as possible, pun intended. But it turned out to be a very solid, good match. Even though Brock won, I would predict it on the video. Brock's gonna win because you know Vince's wet dreams. Roman Reigns was Brock Lesnar. Ah, uh, yeah. He, Vince, Vince made that old bastard. I, I hope he dies someday. Pretty quick. So, yeah, the the crowd was hot for this match because it, it's like a Rocky story came back to life. You know Rocky, I love Rocky, Rocky Balboa. Yeah, it, it, it kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, because, uh, you know, Sl Sly, Sylvester Stallone was getting beat up by Apollo Creed. Uh, at the end, he even though he lost... The crowd chanted his name. Yeah, he went for it. Yeah, that that reminded me. That film reminded me of this match. Uh, I mean, this match reminded me that film. I was going backwards. So yeah, Brock Lesnar is not gonna lose until at to WrestleMania 34. He's gonna lose to Roman Reigns. So it's a good match though. Good match. As I said, Rocky story. So. The score is tied to 3-3. Three to three. And the SmackDown, a 5-on-5 five five men's elimination match. The Raw team consists Triple H in the game, the last minute change up be because of Jason Jordan. Braun Strowman, the captain Kurt Angle, team of captain. And uh, Samoa Joe and Finn Balor, five, five men. On SmackDown, we got Shane O'Mac. Randy, Randy Borington, and Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Roode, the glorious one, and, oh, god dang it, oh, my John Cena, yeah, you guys say Ziggler sucks, but this guy, I fucking despise him, why the fuck, he, he's in this team anyway, it should have been Kevin or Sammy, what the fuck, oh, man, uh, let's talk about this crap. Oh man, the, this match was a toss up to me. Uh, when, when you know who's the first guy who got eliminated from this match? Shinsuke Nakamura. Are you fucking kidding me right now? The, the king of strong style, the legend of New Japan, he lost to... He was the first guy to be eliminated. The second guy was Bobby Roode. The two both guys who I thought going to be the sole survivors for this team eliminated quickly. Then I was like, fuck, I don't, I don't want to care about this match anymore. I left. I went to take, uh, I want to take a shower. Yeah, I didn't take a shower because I was pumped up for this match. When they got eliminated, I was, yeah, fuck it. Uh, I'm going to, I got naked, not in the front of the camera. I got naked, go to the shower and take shower like five or ten minutes, and then then I came back. And you know, who's the second guy who got eliminated? Oh, uh, yeah, Samoa Joe. 
Samoa Joe got eliminated by John fucking Cena. God dang it. Samoa Joe. You fucking. You fucking. Ch- you fucking kindergarten guys. You're the reason why John Cena is still here. You guys. Samoa Joe. Are you kidding me? Samoa Joe got eliminated. But even though the. The best part was John Cena getting eliminated. Coup de gras. Fade Bell did a coup de gras on John Cena. I love the most satisfying thing of the year. You fucking hear me? I was so satisfied when he got a coup de gras from Finn Balor. And Angle uh, did an angle slam twice and pinned him. And John Cena is out. I'm the most happiest guy in that, in that living room when I was watching the show. I was so happy, so satisfied. John Cena is gone. Should have been gone uh, when the bell even rang. And uh, uh, there was a spot where Braun Strowman got sup- su- uh, double suplexed into uh, t- announcement table. So he he has took taken out from the match. Not taken out from the match. He was resting. I think he was got injured some kayfabe reason. So. So the last members were Randy Orton, Shane McMahon, and Finn Balor, Finn Balor, Kurt Angle, Triple H, and Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman was out there. He didn't even move. Uh, and surprise, surprise, Finn Balor got eliminated by Randy fucking Orton. Randy Orton. Randy Orton eliminated Finn Balor. Oh man, god dang it, man. What the fuck? They're upsetting me so much. God dang it. Finn Bell is gone. So it's three. So it's three on Raw, two on SmackDown. Sa- and the, another satisfying part, it got me happy. Braun Strowman came back and eliminated Randy Orton. That power slam. And he's, he's gone. He's gone. So, so Shane McMahon is the one guy. And uh, Team Raw got three guys, Braun Strowman, Triple H, and Kurt Angle, three guys. So Shane McMahon got into the ring. This is the final of the, final of the match. Uh, we're getting to the climax of this match. Shane McMahon was about, was about to get pinned, but Triple H came to the ring, pedigreed Kurt Angle. Pedigreed Kurt Angle. So Shane McMahon gets... Uh, so Triple H uh, picks up Shane, Dead Ass Shane, put on Kurt Angle. So Kurt Angle has been eliminated by Shane McMahon. So there's only two guys, Triple H and Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon on the other team. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell about it. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn interfered and almost causing Shane the match. But Shane took the chair and beat both of their asses. And Shane and Sammy were gone because the sh- chair shots. So, yeah, let's go to the climax. Uh, we need to talk fast because I got no time. I got to go. Uh, so, uh, I mean, let me say. Uh, then Triple H was going to help Shane. Like, he's joined Raw. Uh, I mean, joined SmackDown. But he gave pedigree to Shane. And Raw wants the match. Shane got eliminated. So your sole survivors for this year on the men's team are Triple H and Braun Strowman. Braun was like, man, you're a fucking snake. He's nodding his head. And Triple H like celebrating like he won that. He won the WWE, I mean the World Championship again. So Braun was so pissed. And why the, uh, Braun was so pissed. And he finally stabbed, chokes up Triple H. He said, if you do that to me again. I'm gonna destroy. You're never gonna play the game again. Oh, that was like, oh shit. They are. They are building. Are they bleeding? Uh, Braun was Triple H at WrestleMania, I think. Some sort of. But Triple H came out, tried the pedigree, tried the pedigree, didn't work. And Braun Strowman gave him two power slam, one and two. And Braun Strowman ripped the shirt off, shows abs a little bit, and. Did, did the scream and went off the show ends like that so the ending was I love the ending because I, who love who hates Braun I love Braun 
I think Braun turned face, I think, since TLC. I think he's been the good guy or tweener. SmackDown is 3, Raw is 4. So this year, Raw won the Survivor Series bragging rights. So, yeah. So this is my final verdict. I'm going to go uh, my score. Guys, hit the drum roll. So my score is 9.99. As you know, my score is not alphabets or points. It's the high, the currency, the how awesome is the pay-per-view. So my score is 9.99. I can't believe NXT is better. NXT sh the last night NXT show was better than Survivor Series. Yeah. Was so good. So the NXT uh, that I I gave that show was sixty nine ninety nine because that how awesome that show was. But this show was man, it has some moments. So let me tell you the pros and cons. So the pros are Shield, Shield was New Day best match, and the second was Usos was the bar. That was an awesome match. This two tag team match was crazy crazy good. I loved it. And the other one was Asuka being the sole survivor. I predicted that. Asuka being the sole survivor for this team. And Braun Strowman stands up tall at the end. And the, a solid good match between Charlotte Flair and Elsa Bliss. Uh, it's a decent match. Not a great, awesome match. But a decent. I can give you that. But the cons. Oh, God. Dang it. The cons were enormous. The first con was Enzo's the Calixto, fucking hated it. Elias was Matt Hardy, what the fuck did they do with it? And why in the hell Kevin Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are the pre-show, the kickoff? I don't know why the fuck they did do that. And Baron Corbin was the Miz, I didn't care single fuck with uh, Baron winning. I was cheering the Miz, but when the Miz lost, who cares? And Nakamura... Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Roode, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe got eliminated on the Survivor Series match. It took me off. And the worst of them all, John Cena was there. John Cena was there. I fucking hate it. And that's why I'm not going to give 99 cents. It's not that bad. It has a moment, so I give it 9.99. It's a meh throw away disposable pay-per-view done with it so that is my review of survivor series guys so let me tell in the comments below do you like it or dislike it share and subscribe guys peace Shh.